So chair yoga, going to be completely different to my other videos, nice and calm and relaxed and today we're going to be focusing on centering. So last week we were grounding, grounding down through the feet, feeling grounded in ourselves. Today we're going to be doing centering. So centering means to calm your emotions and slow your mind to the point you can see more clearly what's around you and inside you. So it's like a state of alertness, but really relaxed at the same time. So it's kind of what they call mindfulness. So I wanted to do this based on chair yoga so that we can, so that you can do it anytime. Um, to feel centered anywhere. So, you know, at work, if you're at a desk, if you're sat at home on a sofa, you know, if you're working from home, like most people are right now, so wherever you are, you can stop, take a moment for yourself, try and remember some of these moves maybe, and focus inward on yourself. So, to start with, we're just going to place our hands on our knees, roll the shoulders back, and we're just going to take a few breaths here. So closing the eyes, feet flat to the floor if you can. And we're all on different chairs. And just come into your natural breath. Trying to get that sense of feeling inside of you. And feeling your chest rise and relax as you exhale. Listen to your body, listen to what's going on in your mind right now. Is it starting to relax with these breaths? Now you're suddenly focusing on them. You know, we're, we're breathing constantly, obviously, but when you take the time to focus on your breath, do you feel any different? Do you feel a state of calmness? And maybe just start to deepen the breath. So nice big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Maybe feeling your body sink a little bit into your chair. If you do have random thoughts that come into your head, you know, noises around you, don't just try and shut them off. Don't get stressed by, by not, not being able to focus. Just take it in, take it in, feel it, and then try and calmly let it go. You know, if any of you have seen my videos and my pictures, you know I've got my little girl running around constantly and it's, it is very distracting. But try to embrace it. And then let it go. And then just slowly open the eyes. And we're just going to do a few side stretches. So wherever you are, put your right hand onto the side of your chair or on the side of your sofa. Left arm comes up and over. And just make sure you're feeling a stretch on the side of your body here. Making sure that you're not leaning forward, more like opening up to, to the ceiling, you're looking up, nice deep breaths. If you're feeling any pain at all in any of these poses, please just relax them and just come back to the breath. And releasing down, just come onto the other side. A nice stretch down the right side. Looking up to the ceiling if you can. And releasing down. I'm just going to do a few neck, neck stretches here. So just look to the left. Back to centre, look to the right. the centre, drop your ear to the left, centre 
center and drop your ear to the right. And I'm just going to do a few rolls, but we're not going to tilt our head back. We're just going to roll from the left ear, or left shoulder, around the front, back to the right. And down the front, back to the left. nice soft neck rolls here so because this is going to be based on chair yoga it's going to be a little bit more relaxing a little bit more stretching you know it doesn't mean it's not it's not good for you just because we're not doing the more physical yoga this is still you're going to get exactly the same benefits from this practice as you would from doing a vinyasa flow Maybe not working your muscles so much, but you'll get the relaxation into your muscles, you'll get the flexibility, and you'll feel nice and centered. So now we're just going to do a few twists. So we're just going to inhale the arms up, and when you exhale, I want you to twist to the right, and then if you can, lower your arms wherever they reach. Obviously, if you're on a chair like me, you can grab the back of the chair. If not, you can just put your hand next to you, or maybe even leave it open. Open the chest, make sure that you're turning from your belly, chest, ribs, and then your head as well. Maybe putting your left hand on your knees so that you can push a little bit deeper into the twist. Going to try and move our spine in all different directions today. And inhale your arms up above to centre, and exhale over to the other side. So this is a great one to do before bed as well because we'll be using the muscles but relaxing them at the same time so hopefully get a decent night's sleep tonight if you don't do anything energetic after this anyway and every inhale lengthen exhale just try and twist a little bit more into the pose And inhale your arms to centre and exhale them down. If you do have any questions as well, the comment section is up so I will see them. Okay, so we're going to come into some cat cows now. So normally we do this on all fours, obviously we're on a chair, so we're going to just put our hands on our knees and on an inhale, so I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see. On an inhale, we're going to roll the chest forward and look up slightly. So we've got an arch in the back. Exhale, we're going to Arch the back the other way, tuck the chin to the chest, trying to keep your shoulders down as well. So inhale, coming forward, exhale, coming back. So just do a few of these with your natural breath. Obviously we all breathe at different rates, don't just try and keep up with me. When you're coming to the one where your back's arched and your chin's tucked, try and pull in your belly as well. You start using them abs. Pulling your belly in and up if you can. And coming back to centre, we're just going to do some shoulder rolls. So, we're just going to Put the arms to the side. Obviously, if you're on a sofa, you're going to hit the sofa, but that's fine, just rest them on the sofa. Roll the shoulders up and back. Maybe inhale as they rise, exhale as they drop. And the other way, inhale and exhale as they drop forward. One more, just go back the other way, roll your shoulders back. Got a nice open chest to finish with. Okay. So now we're going to kind of do a sun salutation sitting, but it's obviously going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to come to the side again just so you can see it. Maybe I'll come to the diagonal. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, see if you can touch the floor. And just relax here a minute. 
So you can either come over your knees or you can open your knees up and just come in between. Just come to the side. Yeah, that's better. And just relax here. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Make sure it's nice and relaxed. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer. So I'm just going to do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Relax the neck. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands together, hands to heart. Now, if we can just open our legs up wide, you might want to come onto the edge of your chair. And we're just going to inhale the arms up and exhale, folding forward. If you can reach the floor, then reach the floor. Push the chair up. So from here, you want your knees over your ankles. Let's come to the side again. Knees over ankles. And we're just going to put the right hand to the floor. If you can put it flat, put it flat. If you can put it on your fingertips, do that. If not, you might want to grab a pillow or something just to keep it raised, or maybe even just hover it there. And then left arm comes up, so we're just twisting again. Twisting the spine. And if you can, look up to your hand. If that's too much for your neck, you can keep looking down to the floor. There's little twists here. So kind of stretching the legs, twisting the spine, opening the chest. See, who knew you could do so much sitting in a chair? And bringing that hand down, I'm just going to turn to the side. And other arm comes up, right arm comes up to the sky. So these are all little moves that you can do while you're just sat watching TV or working at your desk if you just need a little stretch. People might think you're mad, but you'll feel better for it. And hands back down to the floor. We're just gonna come up, elbows on our knees, lengthen through the spine. Just take some nice deep breaths here. So we're trying to get our spine nice and straight. Kind of not very flattering, but I guess kind of how some people go to the toilet. Okay, so next, this one might be a little bit hard on some people's ankles. So if it is, right, so I'll just show you what it is first. So your left leg is going to come up over your right knee. So your, your foot is flexed. So if that feels comfortable, let's move in so you can see what position I'm in. If that feels comfortable, you can start lengthening the spine and pushing down on the knee. If that feels too much on your ankle, maybe even just cross your legs. Or maybe just come up a little bit more so you're kind of resting on, on the calf instead of the ankle. And wherever you are, even if you're cross leg, you can do this. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, just lean forward slightly so you're lengthening the spine so I'll just move to the side again so you don't want to dump round make sure your spine is nice and straight and you're just leaning over so you should start to feel a stretch in this leg here if you're not you're probably not going far enough you're probably a bit more flexible than you think see so if you're cross leg you can still do this but you're not going to feel as much of a stretch but if you lengthen the spine it will still be beneficial Nice deep breaths here. And then lowering that foot, we're going to come on to the other side. So the right leg comes up, comes up over the left knee. Again, push the knee down if you need to. Or cross your legs if this isn't very comfortable. Lengthen through the spine. And again, just lean forward slightly, feeling a stretch in the leg in the thigh, or the outside of the thigh. Nice deep breaths. Remember this 
practice is based on centering. So focus on yourself. Focus on what feels good for you and your body. And coming back up to centre, just lower the legs down. Just going to do another little shoulder stretch here. So inhale the arms up, exhale, one arm comes down and comes behind while the top arm reaches over. And if you can, just turn so you can see, you can grab your hands. If you can't grab your hands, just grab your t-shirts. Or if you've got a belt or shop or even a dressing gown tie, use that. So just pull your hands a little bit closer. And I'm just gonna hold this for a minute. Again, make sure you're breathing. Chest is nice and open. And just releasing that, both arms up. Other hand comes down and around. Again, if you can grab it, grab it. If not, grab a t-shirt. The more you do this, the more flexible you will get. And then hopefully one day you will be able to clasp your hands if you can't already. So with that, with the pose, that's based on a centering theme as well. The more you focus on centering, the better you get at it. The more you calm your mind and your emotions. And just relaxing that. Okay, so now we're going to come into a little bit of core work. So, I'm going to come to the side so you can see. So feet flat to the ground, we're just going to lift the left leg, flex the foot, straight spine, and just hold this up for a bit. Nice deep breaths. You can make sure your, your knees can be apart or together. Sometimes I find it's better if they're together because you can use the, the muscle action there to kind of hug in. Feel a li as soon as you hug in, you feel your core tighten. Just a little bit more core work for you. If you do have any problems with this, just keep your legs down. And lowering the left leg, we're just going to do the same on the right. So lift the right leg up, foot's flexed, nice straight spine, and nice deep breaths. So just doing something as simple as this as well, it's yeah, it's working your muscles and your core, so you get a little bit of physical exercise with it, but you're, you're focusing on what you're doing, which means your mind is calming. So any little movement like this, anything that you've got to concentrate on something, you know, you're, all, you're already doing yoga. That's yoga. That's centering yourself. And lower the foot. And I'm just going to try both of them. So both feet up, both feet flexed, lengthen through the spine. Nice deep breaths. Tummy, tummy in, core in, core engaged. Shoulders away from the ears. And lowering the legs. So if you want to try this next one, you can. A little bit more core work. And again, it depends on what you're sat on. So obviously I'm sat on the chair so I can hold the sides. If you're on a sofa, you can put your hands underneath you. Um, if your chair isn't that stable, obviously you just be careful with this. So now what we're gonna do is tuck the knees up as far as we can and we're gonna lift our bodies off of the chair. So on an inhale, lift up. And just hold here for as long as you can. Or keep trying if you need to. And lower down. So, nice relaxed practice. Okay. So, just a little bit of a cool down now, because that was quite a bit, quite a bit of work there. 
So we're just gonna inhale, sweep the arms up again, exhale, folding forward again over the legs or in between the legs, and just hang here, loosen the neck, shake yes and no. And inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, hands to prayer. Hands to knees again, we're just going to do again some cat cows. So breathing in, push the chest forward, shoulders back, head up, exhale, belly button to spine, chin tucks. Inhale, roll the chest forward and exhale back. If you want from here, you can carry on doing that movement or on the inhale, you can start rolling it around to the right. Exhale, belly button to spine, but roll to the left. So it's kind of cat cow, but circles. So still as you do this, as you come forward with the chest, make sure your head goes up. Exhale, belly button to spine, chin to chest. So sometimes it takes a little while to get used to this movement. So just keep trying, or if you're struggling too much, just stick with cat cow. And if you're doing the circles, just go back the other way. And I've just been learning all about the chakras and you know, the main energy points in the body, and they've all lined up the spine and movement of the spine helps release them, which is what we need to do. Especially to get to that mindfulness state. Okay, and back to centre. Just going to do another twist. So inhale the arms up, exhale twist to the left this time first. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Inhale to center. Exhale, turn to the right. If you were here at the start of the video, you'll notice that I said I was um, pretty cold when I first turned the camera on. And I'm warm now. I hope you're all feeling a little warmed up. And inhale the arms up, exhale, just release them down to the sides. So hands on knees, roll the shoulders back, closing down the eyes. Take a nice deep inhale in and exhale out. And on your next one, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And then just come to your natural breath. Keeping the eyes closed if you can. Just focus on your body. Does your body feel any different now to what it did at the beginning of this practice? You know, hopefully your muscles are feeling a lot more relaxed. Worked, but relaxed. And this is why we do yoga. We do yoga, a lot of people anyway, for the movement first to prepare the body for the stillness after. And I just want to say what I said at the start of this practice, if you keep your eyes closed, that centering means to calm your emotions and slow your mind to the point you can see more clearly what's around you and what's inside of you. It's like a state of alertness, but really relaxed at the same time, also known as mindfulness. 
posture. You can be relaxed and calm, but still, but still alert, still, still listening to what's around you. So just try and relax your whole body here. If you are in a chair that you can sit back on, just sit back, relax. Trying to relax all your muscles, kind of like a seated shavasana. Make sure that your jaw's relaxed and your eyes and your forehead have softened. You know, let thoughts come. Let them spin around your mind. Then try and exhale them away. You don't need to deal with that right now. What you need to focus on is yourself, your breathing, your body. Listen to your body. Listen to the sound of your breath. If you like the sound of the ocean, imagine your breath is the ocean, the waves rolling in and rolling back out. This is what so many of us don't do anymore, is just sit, just sit, close down the eyes, not focus on anything but ourselves our breath, our body. And when you're ready, just open the eyes. And inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Namaste.